Well, good morning. We are at Road Creek. Just trying something different. And it's not just me today. We got David here this morning. So we're gonna try at Wood Creek and see what the Lord blesses us with. Let's see what the water temperature is. Water is 52 degrees, so it's about what it has been everywhere else. So that's not too bad. Water's a little bit clearer here, so let's just go down the lake and go fishing and see what the Lord's blessed us with. It's hard to pass up in trees right there. You know what? Let's just start right there. Yeah, what you mean? <laughs> Let's just start right here where those trees are. That looks like a good spinner bait spot. Ooh, son. One came out and nailed it, huh? Son, one came out and nailed it. He didn't just strike it. He came out and nailed it. I see him come out of those trees. Huh? That one came out and nipped at that spinner bait. I got a feeling it's because of that trailer. I'm gonna switch that trailer. Switch that trailer and I'm gonna put that straight one on. That's gonna be one of my videos that I share next is about using different trailers for your spinner bait. Because I used to just throw them without trailers. And I caught a lot of fish doing it, but when I started putting trailers on them and started paying attention to what each trailer did, then I realized the whole new... Yeah, you still got him on there. What about that? Hit that spinner bait. Yeah, good job. <laughs> yeah. See, look at the trailer I got ready to put on there. Same, same one. Yep, that's because that's, that's the trailer I use in clear water. There you go. Oh, yeah. Good job. Thank you, There's nothing came out of that tree. Oh, there's one. Yep. Yeah, there's one. Good one, too. Yes, sir. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Son, I love that spinnerbait bite. That's probably my favorite bite of all of them. On my spinnerbait. <laughs> <sighs> ah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It's fun. Well, I'm thinking about that, that, uh, that Lucky Craft one. That white one. I've got a white and silver one that looks like a shad. I'm going to tie it on just to see. I've got a white one. I watched him come out and hit it. Yep, I told you. I... They're wanting to eat. That's obvious. They're wanting to eat. I just, I think we're... I mean, I think that spinner bait still, don't get me wrong. I mean, it's... 
it, it'll work. Because you can get it through all that cover and all that wood, but I got a strong feeling about that crankbait. There it is right there. I got a strong feeling about that crankbait right there. Same color as that spinnerbait. But this has got treble hooks. Because that's what they're doing. I mean, they're coming out of that stuff, son, and they are all over it. Oh yeah, talk about fun. Talk about fun. The only thing is with these, they'll come around that cover, but you gotta just take your time with it. I mean, that's what, four, that's four fish. That's four fish is what that is. Yeah, about a half hour. Yeah, we ain't been here long. I love it when it's raining anyway. Did you? Did you? Yeah. That's what it is. I don't. I mean, I don't know if this is going to get the bites that we're looking for. But that's four or five fish in that one little spot. Yeah. I'm saying, I don't know that this is going to do better. I'm going to throw it for just a little bit. But they won't be able to come out and swipe at this. Yeah. That spinnerbait's definitely getting the bites, though. It, it'll get bites. There's one. There you go. How about that? You <laughs> huh? Hey, you weren't wrong. No. How about that? Look at that. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Man. That right there is fun, fun, fun. Thank you, Lord. I still think that spinnerbait will get you the biggest bite. <laughs> There's another one. He got choked. He got choked. Look at this. Watch this. Like it son that's fun right there you think the fish are in there oh yeah come right around that little tree son bam he nailed it thank you lord jesus Two what? Two trees. Oh, two trees? Yeah. See, there's trees right there, too. Don't haul it Wood Creek for nothing, do they?
Uh-oh. Uh-oh, 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 I need a net. Yeah, this time I need a net. Huh? Oh, wait a minute. No, I don't. I don't need a net. I don't need yep. a net, no. He's hooked in the back, though. It's KVD trebles, man. They're beef. Huh? Thank you, Lord Jesus. That's fun. That's fun right there. That's all it is. Lucky Craft 1.5. Love it. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Goose, how you all doing today? Hmm? We invading your area? I'm sorry. That spinnerbait is drawing them. The problem is one, I'm going to be honest with you, is your medium rod. Yeah. It loads up a little different. Good night, there's one. Huh? Yeah, a little one. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And Wood Creek is awesome because of how much wood you have. The bad thing is you have so much wood. But out here, dude, there's no telling. Any one of us could catch a five pounder in any minute. Out here, it's possible. Out here, it's possible and don't surprise me. There's one. I would do that quarter bill. <laughs> you good one too. <laughs> yes, sir. This is my kind of bait, my kind of day. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Beautiful. All right, so what setup are we using? Uh, we're using a lose. This is a uh, Lowe's LFS speed spool, 5.6 gear ratio. I can't say enough about guys if you're going to throw crankbaits. You can throw your 7 to 1s all you want, but when it comes springtime, 5 to 6. That's what I use. Um, 12 pound P line, it makes it about a 15 pound diameter. Um, kind of a 0.14, I think, is what it is, the diameter. Um, if you use fluorocarbon, then you can use up to 15 pound. It's about the same speed and everything. This reel right here gets 23 inches to turn. I know all the famous people and everything you hear, they're all 27 is the best. It might be, but I'm gonna tell you what, I sure have caught a lot of fish on 23 inches per handle turn. Uh, I started off using my spinner bait and I got a couple short strikes, which made me just kind of wonder, wonder what would happen if i picked a square bill and about the same color because the water clarity that we have you really only have about two foot visibility but it's kind of cloudy and murky so that white i can see it maybe out two foot down so what did i do i decided i'd pick up a 1.5 lucky craft square bill that's sitting special you can get them at cabela's most time for like six dollars uh the only difference is is i upgrade the hooks and those are uh kvd uh size four short sang hooks i put them on there and you've seen the rest with this slow reel if you throw into these trees and as you're reeling it that's the problem with those seven to one if you throw that seven to one you've already passed that tree or you've hung up because instead of bumping and ricocheting it bumps and just hangs up with that slower reel you can worm it through you can work it little by little through those trees and as you see the results i mean i've caught a few fish with it so uh, we've only been out here, um, says right there, see what time it says. Okay, so we got here, we got here about 7 o'clock. Um, so it's 8.07, so we've been out here an hour, and we've already caught. David's had one, and I've caught, I don't know, four or five. So there's the setup. 
and the rod is a 610 medium heavy uh legend glass that's a st croix legend glass that's my favorite square bill rod i use that for just about every crankbait i have two of these that's, a, that's what i use for everything it's got the perfect parabolic band just a fun setup to use especially for these square bills let's see what else the lord blesses with let's get back to fishing i don't think they're all the way back in here i think we found the middle ground I could be wrong, but yeah, which they weren't monsters, the ones I had, but it was one right after the other. It was obvious they were grouped up over there. As I say that, there's one little one. He had it and I didn't even know he was on there. You know what? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> there you go. I still hit that spinner bait. Well, I'm get it out of his jaw. Oh, that hook is... It's good. Yeah, he's, that hook's a beast. That part is, I didn't see him, or I didn't feel him hit. I see my line go limp. Yeah. Look at that. Praise you, Lord. That's, that's awesome. That's good. <laughs> the same hole you got your crankbait bite out of just now. Mm -hmm. Plenty of them in here. Son, he drilled it. That little thing right there didn't just hit. He knocked the fire out of it. He drilled it. I felt him just load on it. Little one, Lord, but thank you for leaving the little ones. Thank you. There you go. Thank you, Lord. Here you are. <laughs> that hook, son. That hook right there on that thing is a beast. That's a five aught ultra point hook must add is what that is well it's back to that good job oh, crazy Lord. that's awesome <laughs> Yeah, there's one. That's a good one. That's a good one right there. But these boys didn't know he was there. Look at that. <laughs> Don't you think he wanted that thing? Wow. Look at that. He definitely wanted that crankbait. Thank you, Lord Jesus. This is not, huh? This is all rock. Let's drive down in here just a little bit to see. This is not where they're at. That's all it is.
This is all rock. That's why they're not here. They're in those trees is where they're at. That's where they're at is in the trees. Which that's pretty common for here. But that's a good one too. That's a good one too, son. That's a good one too. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's the biggest one we've caught all day. <laughs> Look at you there. Heck yeah. Yep. That. Yep. Wow. <laughs> yep, back here in the back. First cast in the back. Oh. Yeah, right on. You draw pretty good, ain't you, buddy? That's awesome. Man. Look at that. <laughs> Two pounds. Mm hmm. That thing's heavy. Yep. That's awesome. Praise you, Lord. That's awesome. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> I sure am. I'm. <laughs> oh, there we go. I got one. Yay. Finally. Finally got one. No bit in, but finally got another one. Yay. Well, thank you, Lord Jesus. Well, huh. Oh, you got your one. About that. Came back over this stretch. Thank you. Mm, <laughs> awesome. I mean, I got enough of these. I got enough of these right here. I should probably throw them. caught good fish on this crankbait this is that strike king chick magnet but this is a chartreuse this i think this is called tip specials what it's called huh yeah i'm not going to use root beer actually believe it or not the first one i ever bought of these wasn't root beer it was this right here <clears throat> muddier water cloudier day go to brighter color yep. that's what you do see that right there that was actually that bait right there was actually the first one i ever bought that color yeah sure was it was a little bit deeper not much shortly after I started using actual crankbait rods. Look at there. Look at that. <laughs> it's crazy, ain't it? 
Look at that. Yeah, there's a mouse. What about that? He hit it too. Thank you, Lord Jesus. What about that? Hadn't had a bite in how long? Switch to that right there, that chick magnet, and that tip special color. The sun got her done. I like it. All right, well, I got out of the rain. Um, fun day. Very different day, though. It's been a while since I'd been to Wood Creek. Um, water temperature here is about 51 degrees. Um, caught them, yes, on the bank. I mean, it's obvious. But a little bit different situation than normal. So this morning when I first got there, I'd planned on throwing that spinner bait and catch them on that spinner bait most of the day. But um, I noticed after the first fish or two that they were coming out and swiping at that bait and weren't really taking it. So I wanted something similar color. That's why I threw that uh, 1.5 at Lucky Craft. Uh, I would show you the crankbait, but to be honest with you, um, after most of the fish, and then I got it hung up one time and probably somebody's braided line underwater, my line snapped and then it, the water was dark enough that I couldn't find where the crankbait was. So, um, that's just the way that it goes sometimes still though it was a fun day uh, they definitely hit that square bill quite a bit a uh, lot of boats going all the way to the back um the fish that uh, david and i caught really weren't all the way in the back it was like i was telling you on that last video that i made it, you have to follow that transition road so they're going from deep water to shallow water they're not going automatically to that shallow water Yes, they'll go up on the banks here and there, but they're not going all the way to the back to that shallow water until they're actually getting ready to spawn. And right now, because of the conditions today, rainy and perfect, but that temperature, that air temperature dropped about 10 degrees just in the time we were out there on the lake. So that made a big difference. Um, but it was a fun day. I mean, I caught quite a few on that crankbait. That's always a fun day. Um, David, what do you think? That was a great day. Good. That's your first experience throwing that spinner bay, wasn't it? Uh, yours, yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah, that was a lot of, a lot of fun. David got to try my spinner bait out, and he caught some fish on it. So, when you get to go out with somebody, one of your friends, and get to catch fish, how much more blessed can you be? We thank the good Lord for the wonderful day that we had. Um, hopefully this video helps anybody that's deciding to come out here to Wood Creek. It's a fun little lake to fish. Um, we did go down towards the dam, went back into some of those creeks. David actually caught the nicer fish back in there on a spinner bait. Um, but most of the fish were up front closer to that, uh, kind of stained, not quite muddy, but kind of stained water. But anyway, hope this helps. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you everybody that subscribed. Thank you everybody that shares the videos. You all have a blessed day, and don't forget, Jesus loves you. Y'all have a good day.